Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 4 on the PC with a few mods in survival mode. I'm your host, Carlos Fade. It's episode 100. And we are going to go attack the Institute. I, I've been collecting these. I've been getting myself some, arm, some ammo here, but I think we have enough. Let's see, what do we have? 762, I have 372 rounds of it, so... We told our son, Sean, a.k.a. Father, that uh, we weren't going to play his game. In fact, what I'm going to do is, in, in the ho I don't know how time passes when you're making machines, when you're making ammo, but we're going to get some sleep so we can go into the Institute fully rested. We're going to hope that while we're sleeping it actually makes some more ammo, but I don't think it does. I think it only makes you makes ammo when it's real time. Oh, it's so. But we get our bonus from Kate, which is great. So we're going to go attack the instant. We told Sean, our son, who is the father of the Institute. So, eh, not interested in your evil ways. And he said, well, you're not. And you're my enemy. So that's fine, but now we have to go to war, basically, against him. Because the Institute, my belief is the Institute is not good huh? for anybody else. Alright, so where do we have to go? Let's look. The nuclear option. Gain access to the Institute. The uh, Kendall Hospital, Campus Law Offices. CIT ruins. It's just north of here, so we don't actually have to do anything. We gotta go this way. I've got Kate with me. Um, I think the cars need some repair. Maybe check the engine. Hope you ain't one of them since here to spy on. Wait. So I'm gonna wait a couple of minutes for. Uh, You'd build high walls too if you had neighbors like these. I guess I'm gonna Easy living, sleep for another hour because I gotta wait for the doctor to wake up. Because he's gotta fix me. Apparently, I'm ill with something. I got the little. All this rest is making me tired. Oh, Kate. Only thing better than getting pissed is picking a fight. Hi. Right. I can patch you up if you need it for a small fee. Of yeah, sure. Patch me up, Doc. What's feeling off today? What can you tell me? I'm pretty beat up. Scrapes and bruises, but it's probably a good idea to get them fixed up. And that's that. Anything else bothering you? Nothing. No other complaints. All right. Don't ruin my hard work by dying out there. So if episode 100 isn't going to be the last one, I'm going to be really surprised. I think this is going to be it, folks. You're going to... You're going to... You're gonna hear me wax nostalgic this whole episode because this has been one of the most fun things I've done for YouTube is to play Fallout 4. Um, and that, you know that's that's what you get when somebody like me plays a game that they really like. You get all this corniness. I've got this gun's ready to go. Deacon. Thanks for the help. That guy, alright. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna save the game actually. I haven't saved it between now and last episode. Um while we're walking to the places where we're supposed to go, I'm gonna continue with a little a little blurb that I was saying at the end of last episode, which is I'm I never started this channel thinking it would be anything. I just wanted to do a tutorial for Galactic Civilizations 3 so that the players who are new to the game who are having trouble with it could quickly get up to speed and enjoy it and have fun with it i feel like tutorials really are kind of the strength of my channel and i have a big one for stellaris coming up i think that's going to be useful to people i just want to show people how to do things that that they find hard and i hate the way tutorials are done on on youtube for the most part because people spend the first five minutes repeating themselves and and uh, trying to get you to subscribe to a channel and trying to get clicks and likes and all that stuff. And it's like, no, sh show me how to change the light bulb on my car. You know, show me how to change my broken left blinker signal. 
it don't take 10 minutes to do it. I'm not going to subscribe to your channel. I just want to know how to do this one thing, right? So I've tried to make um, my channel that way when it comes to video games as far as the first tutorials. You know, I wanted to make people just the, the, the Galactic Civilizations tutorials done as a Let's Play because I wanted to make sure people didn't miss a single detail that, that they got everything that they wanted. But where am I supposed to be going? Nuclear option, gain access to the entity. What does that happen? I feel like I'm missing something here. I don't remember. He said it was a old water tube, but I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing something. There's something I'm missing here. Because it's not in here. You don't go inside there. What? Where am I going? Okay, let's find out. Here's what's interesting. This says right here, Kindle gain access to the Institute. But this other thing is showing... I'm pointed right at this door. Okay. Let's find out what it is. Let's figure out where we're going. I just want to make sure one more time. What the hell am I missing? Miscellaneous, I got nothing. No, nothing. Nuclear option. Can you just... Where is this thing? I've got an icon. All this walking's wearing me out. I have an icon here. Just don't know what it is or where it's going. Soon we're gonna find it. Soon. Is, Thanks, mainland. Because it's getting bigger. How come I can't see this icon on the map? Something in the game feels off. Something in the game feels off. I'm probably going to have to restart this episode. What is this? Oh no, I'm not. Sometimes when I make a colossal mistake, I think, oh, I need to restart the episode. But there it is. It's down there. Well, there it is. So this is correct, and the overhead map part was not correct. Well, a slight bug in the game was trying to fool us. But we were not fooled. We followed the icon and... See, I have no recollection of this, but I know that this is accurate. I remember doing this, and now I have a recollection of it, but I don't have a recollection that this is where the tube was. But, uh, what in blazes? Lord. Okay. We're here. What's this? Friend? Hmm, likeness zero, that doesn't surprise us. Riches, R I C H E S, there's no matches. There's one match with that. It could be radios, R A D. It would either match the R, the R and the O would both have to match, so that's not it, so it's not that. Return, R E T U R N doesn't match anything but the R. I'm in. Hey, what do we have? Gas canister, all this other really cool stuff that we... Well, duct tape and water glue we kind of have to grab. This little stash here. Kate, what do you think about this? Gain access to so what am I looking at? Kate? I just hit the button. What am I doing? Now what's it say? Activate the Institute Relay. What? 
Where do I have to go for that? Where do I go for that? Go back down here. What do I do? Activate. Institute. So, okay, hold on. A little puzzle. You seeing something I'm not seeing? Because I'm not seeing this. Let's go back out, I guess. Because there's nowhere else to go oh, in here. There's a smell I'm never gonna forget. Yeah. Well. Wait a minute. Hold on, there's a tube over here. This might be it. Hey, here we go. There's the smell I'm never gonna forget. Well, you know. Beans, beans, musical food. Musical food. The more you eat, the more you too. Hey. Alright, we're in. Piers, we're in. If your boots get wet, well, okay. Tell you what, you can have anything you want after we do all of this. This is a big old, uh... Hey, there's a hatch here. Whoa, look. We're inside. Inside something, anyway. Look. Hey, you see, man, why am I grabbing it? I'm done making stuff. Done making my settlements awesome, but I can't help myself because there's wonder glue. I just can't help myself. It's like an instinct. Oh, we've got settlements. We gotta take care of them. Big huge rat, mole rat. Oh, I see what they're doing here. They're gonna make us go down. So we can waltz through the neighboring tunnel. Where are we going next? I would assume we're following this big, huge tube. Of course. Of course there's a charred feral ghoul. Of course there is. I don't I don't hate ghouls enough. So let's throw a whole bunch of them at you right here at the end of the game. Ghouls don't suck enough, so let's do this. Hey, I got an idea. Weapons. Fat man. Let's see, where do we want to favorite you? To slot nine? And the, I grabbed the minigun by accident. I didn't mean to. I meant to grab the missile launcher. There it is. You can go in slot eight. That way, I can do things like this. Be being fun. Nice try. Oh, that must have hurt. Only a little bit. Bottle cap, shotgun shot. Yeah, here, Kate. Where are we supposed to go? Got a new Coca Cola over here. New Coca Cola Quantum. We may actually need so. It's 
Stop it. Stop it. You think. Finish repairs immediately. Continued exposure is ill advised. Proper repairs are necessary to ensure a fault does not reoccur. Leaving this area at once is recommended. Hostile. Hostile detected. Oh, explosives. Mmm, fragmentation rate. Our sensor reading detected. collection of this. Probably because I played the game the other way so often. Samantha likeness 2 speeding has only one letter matching. Majority it's only one letter matching. Uh, the M E N T that doesn't have anything. Standing. D I N G only has one letter match. Right? Stumbling. Stumbles. S T U M B L E S only has one letter match. Right? Monitor. Golly. Sneaky. Sneaky. A hey, it has a, ma a match with the A and S. Okay. It's, nice. That's what I want. It's detected. Hope the mayor is gonna help. I hope so too. Look at this. Ooh. Hey, what do we got? We got a stealth boy? Stim pack. A dick dog. Okay. Yeah, I've never gone this way before. Ever. I have not done this. What is this? Where are we supposed to go? This is interesting. Hello. Are we supposed to go this way? Look at you guys. Oh, a whole bunch of monkeys. That can't be good. This is a broken elevator. Okay, what do you think? Hey, what's in here? Stuff, but it doesn't look like valuable stuff. It's purified water. I'm not sure that any of this is particularly useful. Oh, but there's a fusion core over here. Not that we needed it. Because we didn't. Because I only had like 60. Okay, so we came through here. There's this way. We can repair our suit over here. There's this bit of business. We can go this way. It appears that the door we want to take is in this direction. Oh, it's through there. Hold on. I see it on the map. You guys are problematic. But you're also dead. Okay, hold on. Do we kind of want to follow that big tube on the ground? So let's go this way. What is this? Fusion cells. Cryogenic grenades. I'll take those. Let's go. Back through. There's that thing being fixed. Turpentine batteries, blah blah blah, a thousand different things. We don't care about. How do we get out of here? This way maybe? Oh, what do we got? Can't go that way? Oh, it's caved in. Well then, keep looking, Kate. This room here has all the monkeys. Not exactly the uh, safest place. There's a broken elevator. All right. Game through here. We got the circuit board. We could go down here. There's some repair stations. There's nothing else other than this. This guy. It's just a hole in the ground. Okay, 
I'm still looking. That's just stuff. We went through here. Came down here. And then we said the only other way to go out was out here. But we came through there because there's the there's that area right there. So what's down at the other end? Nothing. We went through here. What else is there? What else is here? What am I missing? Is there somewhere in here that I'm missing? The ladder. Oh, there is. It's right here. Yep, this is it. I missed this tunnel entrance is what I missed. Hey, what do you see? There's a hatch. Oh, and we're inside. We're back in the uh, control room. Okay, Sturgis. Load holotape. What did you want me to load? Game. Okay, quest. It said quest at the end. Remember last time I used this? Quest, 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 quest. Marty Bullfinch's holotape. What do I have to do? Nuclear option. Activate the institute relay. Oh. Okay. Can I just go in here and do it? Something about this is weird. I don't have a holotape to load. Institute relay targeting sequence. Down the coordinates. My peoples. Talk to Preston. Man, no. I guess I'm still in one piece. Is this a better time for that talk? <laughs> okay. I understood. And I appreciated your trust in opening up to me like that. Oh, good. I guess I was more coherent than I thought. It's just... I was Preston wants to get all personal right now. I didn't care if I lived or died anymore. Preston! At least not for myself. Focus on the and task at hand. You and who you are that turned things around for me. I just wanted to make sure you knew that. Okay. All right. Thanks, Preston. I know that wasn't easy for you to talk about. It feels better finally getting to say it out loud. Thanks for listening, man. I guess we should get back to it, huh? I like that they do give you the option to romance Preston as a guy. So this is the instant. So that they could have just held out down here forever. So that why they need gay to people can have an option to romance somebody because <laughs> everybody needs to romance the person they want to romance. So thank you, Bethesda, for doing that. I, of course, have a crush on Kate and Curie at the same time, so, you know. Alright. Let's do what we came to do, buddy. Sir? It doesn't matter now. Let's do what we came to do. You're right. In any case, here we are. No turning back now. You're gonna need this. It's a fusion pulse charge. Okay. Once it's attached to the reactor, it can be detonated remotely. Awesome. You get that on the reactor, 
and we can trigger an explosion that'll destroy everything the Institute has ever built. Perfect. Just make sure we give the civilians a chance to escape before we blow the place. We're not here to commit mass murder. We better hurry. They're gonna realize what's going on before Issue too long. the activation. You'd better get to work on this teleporter of theirs. We need that thing running as soon as possible. And pull us back up as soon as we give the signal. Okay, my friends. Let's see. What's this? Old robotics. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> on the one hand, I, I just continue to have to hand it to Bethesda for making a really interesting, multifaceted story with a bunch of different factions. That isn't, it isn't, they don't make the cut and dried options. Good lord. You know how to show a girl a good time. Yeah, well, that's my job, honey. To show you a good time. Got something over here. It's like they're gone. Dudes, we have some, but they just created all these different factions, which was fantastic. And then they they made everything not cut and dried as far as how you interact with them, which I just really like. I've really appreciated that about this. Oh my gosh! Come on. Thank you. Thank you for flying the friendly skies. You know what? I don't need safes at this point in the game. What I need to do is continue to win. What am I doing? Where are we going? I got down this far. Western Revolver. Hell yeah. Ghoul Slayer, but we're not going to see any more ghouls, so who cares? Hey, there's something over here. Guys, ready? Yeah, hacks, that's what I'm talking about. Down we go. One way only. We got power armor. Pull the plug on them as we go. Ah, and then we're starting to. We're getting tight quarters. Go to things that are less explosive. Cryo mines, nice. Elevated. Yeah, the ensued, but yeah, I just I'm this game with a few mods makes me really happy, especially the whole Loving Kate, Loving Curie, Loving Curie, Loving Piper series of mods. They're all very well done. What is this? Oh, so this is what it looks like. Man, no wonder they prefer it down here. Well, you know, but here's the thing. Warwick Homestead Initiative. What is that? Mission statement. The Warwick Homestead Initiative was conceived to facilitate field testing of various genetically modified specimens in the unique climate of the Commonwealth. It's hoped that we gain insight into the effects of trace radiation on the growth and developments of said specimens. We of the Bioscience Division are in full agreement on the following hypothesis. Subjected to the proper levels of ambient radiation and soil pH such as those found in the exceptionally fertile soil at Warwick Homestead, our modified seed specimens are likely to exhibit accelerated growth rate and a twofold increase in size. What? Project implementation. Choir Roger Warwick. 
patriarch of Warwick Homestead and conduct a series of intensive interrogation sessions to learn all we can about his life and family. With the intelligence gathered in stage two, create a synth replica of Roger Warwick and embed the unit on site at Warwick Homestead to oversee the operation directly. SRB will handle logistics of this aspect of the initiative. Stage four, begin covert deliveries of prototype seed batches for planting. Stage five, collect obs observational data from embedded unit. Stage six, when sufficient data has been collected, retrieve synth unit and specimens for lab study. Purge all surface evidence of the initiative. What? I've never read that before. I had no idea. Status reports. Oh my gosh. No way. Warwick is a synth? Are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. I... Where's the... Where's that coming from? I saw you guys are all dead. You know what? Here's the deal. Where? Dude. Where are the rest of them? Oh, they're the gorillas. Okay. Where am I going? Wait, something's out there. Yeah, it's Hold the gorillas. That character is hungry. Hey guys, take a break. All right, it's two scientists. Where is he? We being followed. Yeah. Never once did your moral code kick in, and you say maybe what we're doing down here is wrong. So guess what? Because of that. Okay, what are we doing? I thought I had a. I kind of had these on quick save somewhere. Stim packs. Q favorite. Put them in what? There. So this could be. There you are. Kill it. Engaging target. You guys happy with that? So cool. to the advanced systems area only well it's locked I can't override it from here looks like the command can only come from the director's personal terminal you're gonna need to get access to it somehow okay use the terminal to override the lock you can do that
Shall we go visit people? Oh, let's go see dear old dad. Oh, I mean, my son. Father. He calls himself father. A pretentious prick. Father. But you're my son, Sean, and they took you, and you didn't even think about your parents. And you didn't even think about what was going on in humanity. You just went right along with it. Like some kind of jerk. Just thought, oh yeah, mm-hmm. Sounds like a good idea. Hey, look here. I can unlock this. Five sand sick. Sweet. Because my old man's dying. Director of Access, Synth Shutdown. Yeah, let's do that. I know the host, Director Code Record. Master Security Lockdown over it. Reach the reactor. Great. Engage evacuation protocol. Attention all personnel. Yes, save everybody as much as we can. Synth up down. Alright. Good job. Looks like that's opened things up enough for you to reach the reactor. I Some didn't expect to see you here. I've almost got the teleporter working. I don't suppose you're Should be ready to pull you out whenever you need. changed your mind. Perfect. What's happened to you? Are you sick? Well, don't pretend to care now. You had your chance to help me, and cast me aside instead. It's not enough that I lay here dying. Now you plan on what? Destroying everything? That's right. Tell me then. Under what righteous pretense have you justified this atrocity? Under the righteous pretense that I'm a human and your people are robots. And humans deserve a chance. Because that's the way I feel. Attention all personnel. Order issued. The Commonwealth deserves to determine its own fate. It's for the greater good. The Commonwealth deserves to determine its own fate. Spare me. You've spent time up there. Yeah. You know as well as I that it's doomed. No. Well, none of it matters now, you're, I suppose. You're a punk. You'll accomplish your task and ruin humanity's best hope for the future. It won't be the humanity. The only question left then is why you're standing here. Is it regret? Or did you just come to gloat? Gloating's pretty good. Thank you for your cooperation. Sean, if you help me, fewer people will die. Will you? Why would I ever consider helping you? Attention all personnel. Evacuation order issued. Institute personnel won't last long above ground. Especially if I am hunting them down. Give me a reason not to. Very well. The terminal behind me. Enter access code 9003. That will disable some of the synths. Now go. Just leave me. I can do that. Because you know what? You keep talking about humanity's greatest hope, but guess what? None of you guys, none of you guys are human. Your sense. It's not the same thing. Access granted. Great. Emerging, commencing emergency shutdown of groups one through fourteen. Great. Well, you know what? Here's the thing in all this. Dad, dear old dad. He's now gonna die. Is there a better way out of here? Is there a better way out? Oh, hey, look, sensor shut down. Great. I'm not sure what the best way out of here is. Where do they want me to go? To the reactor. Let's go. I think it's this way.
some says they're shut, shut down, and some of them are not. That's all right. How could how could you sit there and say this is humanity's best hope when it's not humanity? It's robots. Yeah, they're synths, they're replicants, or whatever you want to call. It. You know what? Here's what I'm going to do to fix you. You don't want to fight me. Come on. Load that thing. I have to get up in here. Coursers. You guys take care of that. I'm headed in here. The Institute would have been reasonable and said, hey, we think this is one alternative. There you go. That's the proper result for you. If the Institute would have said, hey, we're just one possible solution to, to help ensure the legacy of humanity not humanity this itself the but the legacy of humanity this must be the reactor we'll cover you while you plant the charge Thanks. we only get one shot at this remember they would have just said we're this concerned the about reactor. the legacy of humanity we'll we want to do what we can to help this, this is what we've been working on hoping that hoping that what we've been working on could have some kind of help for the people above on the surface we know things are rough down there um yeah you know we all could have been friends but instead, you're like, no. This is the best result for humanity. It's for us to just replace humanity with a bunch of synthetic organic robots. And what? Wrong answer. Hello? Let's get the proper explosive out. A pulse screen. That seems like it. Oh, my God. Jeez, Holmes. Have the thing ready to go. Before you start getting your butt shot off. right Preston you got the right you got the right idea there they're not human and they ain't robots they're somewhere in between but I'll tell you what they're not they're not humanity which is what he kept saying reactor terminal password great missiles fusion cell plasma he kept saying the best chance for humanity well you know what you know what humanity is Flesh and bone. Flesh and bone. Two people. Alright. Preston, my man. We need to get out of here and fast before they pick. Okay, let's move. Let's go. Sturgis, you reading me? We're done down Get us here. out of here, Sturgis. Step us back to the relay room. Goodbye. Thanks, Institute. All right, Sturgis, we're done. Get us the hell out of here. Yeah, I would, man. But uh, this kid showed up. He says he's the general's son. 
Alright, Sturgis. You. Fire it up. But you didn't even talk to the kid. Oh. You're, you're not gonna leave him here, are you? Alright, Sturgis. Fire it up. But you didn't even talk to the kid. You're, you're not gonna leave him here, are you? Please, Dad, don't leave me here. Attention I want to go with you. You do? Why did you call me Dad? What? You're my father. Why else would I call you that? Who told you that I was your father? What do you mean? Nobody told me. You just are. Hmm. <laughs> that's funny. Well. Right. Of course I'm your father. Good. For a second, I thought you forgot who I was. Now let's hurry up and get out of here. Attention all personnel. All right. You can come with me. Really? Do you mean it? What? You don't believe me? No, no, I totally do. What I mean is, thanks. Now let's get out of here. Okay, Sean. I knew you could do it. All right, Sturgis. Fire it up. Didn't leave anything behind, did you? All set to get out of here? <laughs> you sure you know what you're doing here? This thing won't vaporize me, right? Oh, come on. Have I ever let you down? You've got my word that it's all set up proper. Now, are we going? Or are we going to stand here and jaw more? Since episode one, you've been pretty solid, Sturgis. So, uh, yep. Absolutely. Let's get the hell Let's out of here. Let's get the hell out you of here. You got it. I'm going to teleport you to the detonation site. Then set it to shoot the kid here back to the castle. Perfect. Now you press that button extra hard when you get there. I'll see you on the other side. Thanks, Sturgis. Let's get out of here. I agree. Attention all personnel. Evacuation hey, order. Preston, you're in my way. Authorization. Let's go to the cat. Oh, wait a minute. It doesn't matter. This is gonna send me wherever it wants to go. He's gonna send me to uh this that it said the castle because that's part of the uh immersive fast travel. But oh no, what what? Was it supposed to send me there? Okay, there we go. Now I'm supposed to go to the explosion site. That's a little a little one of the bugs with that that mod immersive fast travel that lets you make those teleporters but it gets you to the right spot eventually so not a big deal get me there to the side so we can see it go down it has been a long fun ride through fallout 4 i gotta say i'm uh Pretty happy with the whole thing. As video games go, this has uh, been one of the more fun first person role playing games I've ever played. Sturgeon Speaker, this was a safe distance outside the blast radius. Whenever you want to see humanity's best hope for the future go up in smoke, just hit that Humanity's button. best hope for the future. I like how he says that, and I like how he says it sarcastically because. That's the point. That's the point as I press this little red button and the Dark Brother and the not the Dark Brotherhood, but that's funny. The Dark Brotherhood. I kinda like that, aren't they? Brotherhood of Steel over there fighting super mutants. It can't be humanity's best hope if it's not humanity. If it's not flesh and blood. If it's artificial flesh and blood, it's not the same thing people have to be their own future and if they don't make it they don't make it and if they don't make it and we get buried under ice and robots come find us like in Steven Spielberg and his, his movie AI which was a Stanley Kubrick movie to start with if that's what happens that's what happens so to the institute goodbye you guys It has to be humanity. There's the diamond over there. I'm gonna activate it. There we go. Hit there. Boom. Institute. Cup balloon.
I can feel it wash over me. The heat, the force, the radiation, the fear. It's the end of the world all over again. I close my eyes. I see my life before all of this, before the bombs. Everything can change in an instant, and the future you plan for yourself shifts whether or not you're ready. At some point, it happens to all of us. This wasn't the world I wanted, but it was the one I found myself in. The Commonwealth. My home. Ripped apart and put back together. I thought, I hoped, I could find my family, cheat time, make us whole again. The way we were. But now I know. I know I can't go back. I know the world has changed. That the road ahead will be hard. This time, I'm ready. Because I know war. War never changes. All right, folks. That was a hell of a ride. Thanks for sticking with me. Those of you who saw... <sighs> Talk to Preston Garvey. Those of you who saw the whole thing, I'm, I'm stunned you stuck with me for the whole thing. <clears throat> Holy shit. <laughs> that was one hell of a bang, wasn't it? So that's it. The Institute is destroyed. It's finally over. You did issue the evacuation order, right? I didn't notice in all the chaos. Preston? <laughs> Did you actually think I would kill everyone? I wasn't really worried, General. But watching that explosion, I just wanted to make sure we didn't kill anyone we didn't absolutely have to. I hate that we had to do that. But they left us no choice. Correct. It was war. But now, the war against the Institute is over. The way is now clear for the Commonwealth to finally come together and build something good for the future. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows from here on out. <laughs> the Institute wasn't the Commonwealth's only problem. We've still got plenty to do. I couldn't have said it better myself, General. The Institute was the most insidious threat we've ever faced. They kept the Commonwealth divided for centuries. But there are plenty of other problems left to deal with. I don't think the Minutemen are going to be out of a job for a long time yet. As much as I might wish it. We deserve... <laughs> and I get a Mila quest? To enjoy our victory. That's funny. But soon enough, it's going to be time to get back to work. Oh my god, that is so funny. Well, there it is. It's worth... Well, and it's all gone. Oh my gosh, it's all blurry now. Started weather vane. Four leaf fish packing plant. The <sighs> okay, so as I'm getting ready to sign off here in the last episode, I'm going to say this is the only thing that disappoints me about Fallout 4 is that there is no montage at the end like there is at the end of other Fallout games. And like there is at the end of The Outer Worlds, which is running at the same time on my YouTube channel that I'm doing this series. I love games that have a definite ending. I know people like... I know there are. there's a huge contingent of people... I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump off this. I know there's a huge contingent... Uh, and we never even got to take... Um, Good Neighbor's Mayor with us. I know there's a huge contingent of people that love games that let you play them beyond, and certainly this one does. Uh, <laughs> see right there, I'm just gonna blow some stuff up, kill some. Oh, you've got 
I'm gonna head back to Hangman's Alley because that's because I can't think of a more appropriate ending to this game than Hangman's Alley. And she's over there killing somebody. Kate, what's going on? Who is this guy? Perfect, Kate. So Kate's gonna go back with us to Hangman's Alley, and I'm gonna. This is gonna be my closing credits on the series. This is definitely gonna be the last episode because you know we we brought the game to an end. I just want to pontificate a little bit. I miss games that let you just have an ending and a really nice ending and a montage at the end that tells you how all your various decisions affected the world that you're in. I love that the Outer Worlds did that. And I love that the other Fallout games have done it. You know, they, they go through the montage and they tell you, hey, because you interacted with this particular group of people this way, this happened. Um, I'm a big fan of what I call hard endings to game. I know there's a whole group of people, there's a whole swath of players that prefer their games to be open-ended so that even after the quote-unquote ending of the game they can keep playing like you can here with Fallout 4. I'm just not a fan of it. I don't like it. I really like the hard ending. It just feels satisfying uh, to come to the end of the game. But this is for me the end of the game. I kind of wish Bethesda would release one more DLC that would have you doing something after the ending here to Fallout 4 after you put an end to the Institute or pick a side or whatever, but this has been an incredibly satisfying game to play again for like the sixth time to do it here on YouTube and just do it with the mods that I've had installed, which aren't, which aren't a lot, and I put the mod list in the description so you could have it so you'd know. It's survival mode. Yeah, there's a lot of running, a lot of running, but there's there's no fast travel. But it's it creates it. It's the way I like to play games because it's just more immersive. You know, in the end, in the end, this was. You look down there, at uh, this glow <laughs> in the dark shark. You look at all the different places. You see. You see provisioners running across her with their cows. We've built up a lot of settlements. It, this is a fantastic game, and even though people are gonna gripe about its shortcomings, I don't think it can be understated how amazing this game was. Hi, how are from you? From start to finish, from NPCs to storyline, and the way they did power armor and gun modifications to the various factions and the way they intertwined it all together and es but, es but especially but especially factions and settlements I thought honest to god I thought settlements were the stupidest sounding thing and I was like why would I want to spend any amount of time building a settlement and then I played the game and it was like, wow, this is fun. This is neat. This is cool. And it is. And the companions were all good and the voice acting is phenomenal. And, and the modders have done a great job with it. And look, loving Kate. Come on. She's a hundred times better. This is just amazing. So this is the, this is the image I want to leave you with. Take the game. If you haven't played it before, mod it. Grab these mods on my mod list. They're fantastic. To everybody who watched all the way through from the beginning to the end, thank you. Your I'm you I'm your biggest fan. You watched. Wow, I'm blown away. Um, if you have a question or comment, as always, drop it down below. I'll do my best to respond. And if you like the channel, subscribe to it. I'll see you guys on the whatever comes next. And if you have a suggestion, feel free to throw it down. Thanks for watching, folks. I will see you whenever we see each other next. This has been Fallout 4 on the PC with a few mods in survival mode. Thanks for watching everybody.